As soon as the people were rising at the end of mass, the lady slipped out through the gate, was in the golden saddle in an instant, and sweeping away ahead of the wind. But if she was, the prince of Amania was at her side, and seizing her by the foot, he ran with the mare for thirty perches, and never let go of the beautiful lady till the shoe was pulled from her foot, and he was left behind with it in his hand. She came home as fast as the mare could carry her, and was thinking all the time that the henwife would kill her for losing the shoe. Seeing her so vexed and so changed in the face, the old woman asked, What's the trouble that's on you now? Oh, I've lost one of the shoes off my feet, said Trembling. Don't mind that, don't be vexed, said the henwife. Maybe it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Then Trembling gave up all the things she had to the henwife, put on her old clones, and went to work in the kitchen. When the sisters came home, the henwife asked, Have you any news from the church? We have indeed, said Lay, for we saw the grandest sight today. The strange lady came again in grander array than before. On herself and the horse she rode were the finest colors of the world, and between the ears of the horse was a bird which never stopped singing from the time she came till she went away. The lady herself is the most beautiful woman ever seen by man in Erin. After Trembling had disappeared from the church, the son of the king of Hermania said to the other king's sons, I won't have that lady for my own.